So hi and welcome back to Everything for Fun with another very interesting video. In this video, I'll be telling you about the 5 biggest financial scams of all time. Bernard Madoff's Ponzi Scheme Bernard Madoff, a former stockbroker and financial advisor, ran one of the largest and most famous Ponzi schemes in history. A Ponzi scheme is a fraudulent investment scheme in which returns are paid to earlier investors using the investments of more recent investors. Madoff claimed to be running a successful investment business, but in reality, he was just using money from new investors to pay off earlier investors and lining his own pockets with the profits. In 2008, Madoff was arrested and sentenced to 150 years in prison for running the scheme, which defrauded investors of billions of dollars. The Nigerian letter scam, this scam, also known as the 419 scam, involves receiving an email or letter from someone claiming to be a Nigerian government official or a member of a wealthy Nigerian family. The scammer will typically ask for assistance in transferring a large sum of money out of the country, promising a percentage of the funds as a reward. However, this is just a point to get the recipient to send money up front, which is then stolen by the scammer. This scam has been around for decades and continues to be a popular method for scammers to defraud people of their money. The Enron scandal Enron was once a highly successful energy company, but in 2001, it collapsed due to widespread fraud and corruption. The company's top executives were found to have inflated the company's profits and hit debt from investors, leading to one of the largest corporate bankruptcies in history. This scandal had far-reaching consequences, leading to stricter regulations for publicly traded traded companies and the passage of the Sarbanes-Oxley Act, which aimed to improve corporate accountability and transparency. The Wall Street insider trading scandals. Insider trading refers to the illegal practice of buying or selling securities based on material, non-public information. This can give traders an unfair advantage and undermine the integrity of financial markets. In the 1980s and 1990s, several high-profile cases of insider trading were uncovered on Wall Street involving well-known financiers such as Ivan Bosky and Michael Milken. These cases led to stricter enforcement of insider trading laws and a crackdown on the practice. The 2008 financial crisis The global financial crisis of 2008 was caused by the collapse of the housing market and the subprime mortgage industry. Many banks and financial institutions had invested heavily in subprime mortgages, which were given to borrowers with poor credit. When the housing market crashed, these institutions faced massive losses, leading to a financial crisis that had far-reaching consequences around the world. The crisis led to a global recession and sparked calls for increased regulation of the financial industry. It's important to always be vigilant when it comes to financial decisions and to do your due diligence before investing your money. Don't let greed or the promise of easy money cloud your judgment and always be on the lookout for scams and fraudulent activities. It's better to be cautious and protect your money rather than falling victim to a financial scam.